Well, we do have more details coming out about the potential Delta Center renovation. This is a very old arena that was renovated in the mid-2010s. I had figured when you look at this arena and how bad it looks for hockey, that with Utah getting an NHL team and now having also an and also having an NBA team, it would make perfect sense to just build a new arena and an entire district. And we got that original rendering, and that's what I thought they were going to do. It would probably only cost around one billion dollars in that area. The district would be a lot more, but in general. I don't know if it's a land issue. They can't secure area to build a new arena in downtown Salt Lake City. I've heard that could be a problem, but it does seem like they are going with this renovation to the very old Delta Center, and this arena is going to need a lot of renovation, not just on the interior, but also the exterior. But what makes the renovation so unique is the fact that this arena is really not built for hockey. Normally, we see the basketball to hockey conversion go pretty seamlessly like the seats are still able to go up against the hockey rink not with the delta center it looks really bad so that's going to have to be renovated i think the upper deck to a degree is going to have to be renovated and i think the exterior of the stadium which at this point to me looks obsolete that is also going to have to be renovated and on top of that they want to build an entire district next to the delta center it's not surprising what smith entertainment group salt lake have in mind with the new Delta Center, the plan would be to keep several buildings surrounding the Delta Center, possibly renovating them or rebuilding them completely. There would also be massive renovations to the convention center, reducing its massive size to account for new buildings. Quote, we refer to this as a sports entertainment culture and convention district. For us to have a thriving downtown core, it has to have all of these pieces, and that's why we're very committed to everyone working together on this process. And they've got this zone called the Revitalization Zone, up to 100 acres authorized by the Salt Lake City Council to enact a sales tax increase of half a percent that would help pay for the massive downtown overhaul. And the estimates on this are pretty crazy when you think about wouldn't it just be better to build a new arena? It'd be brand new. It's an investment into the future. You now have two teams here. It makes sense considering the Delta Center's limitations when it comes to hosting hockey. Why not just build a brand new arena that can custom host both of them very easily? Again, it would probably only cost around a billion dollars. And that's just me estimating, comparing it to OKC's new arena, some of these other arena projects possibly being around a billion dollars, maybe 1.2 billion. Now the Intuit Dome is 2 billion, but that's a different story. That's being built in Inglewood, California. The cost of building is going to be significantly higher there. And in general, I don't think it would cost anything near that. I will say the district surrounding it would cost a lot of money. I do think this is a land issue. That's why they're doing this. They're renovating the Delta Center, I believe, because of a land problem. The other thing is, how is this renovation going to happen in one off season? That's another big question when it comes to it because you've got both the NHL and the NBA, their seasons align. You would think this huge renovation might be in two stages with the interior possibly happening early on in, in the renovation and then year two they renovate the exterior and likely the surrounding buildings you could potentially see something like that but obviously both of these teams need to play at the delta center so to me this is just an inorganic thing that's going on and that's why i had figured after we saw the original rendering oh my goodness this is so obvious they're going to be building a new arena now that they have two teams and it seems like they're trying to fit a square peg into a round hole by keeping an old arena that really doesn't even fit NHL hockey. Not only do you have to renovate the interior, but also the exterior. And you've got to do it probably over the span of two off seasons as the team plays inside of the arena. I'm not saying they're going to have construction during the team's games you know, during the season. But still, it's going to be a multi-year renovation because you've got two teams now playing inside that arena. As Smith negotiated a deal to reel in an NHL team, Smith Entertainment Group started to work on an entertainment district. The company requested a 99-year lease extension with the Redevelopment Agency of Salt Lake City to remain on the block that's home to the Delta Center. It also asked for a similar lease with Salt Lake County 
for two blocks east of the arena, setting up a new entertainment district surrounding the arena. And again, this isn't surprising. Really, when it comes to a new stadium or an arena, there's going to be a surrounding area that is basically attached to it. It's funny to think about something like Target Field and how small that stadium was when it was built. There's no way they would build that stadium in that place because you can't put anything around it. It's just crazy how 15 years later so much has changed. Preliminary cost. How much will all of this cost? Very preliminary estimate that it will cost around $3 billion. Now, that's not too surprising considering it seems like a ton of the money is going to the district. Guys, remember the Tampa Bay Rays gas plant district is $6 billion. Anytime you build up infrastructure, it is going to cost infinitely more. My big question is, what is the actual renovation to the Delta Center going to cost? Because imagine if it's around a billion dollars. Again, why not just build a new arena and you could build a brand new district surrounding it, maybe even just outside of Salt Lake City. I feel like that's a much better option. Maybe it's a land issue. Maybe it's a money problem. But if you're going to spend $3 billion on this, how much of it is actually going to be going to the Delta Center? I would say around $750 million, which to me, unless there's a huge land problem, doesn't make sense to renovate an already old building but it does seem like they want, they love this location and they would rather go forward with a renovation even though it could cost around $3 billion and they've asked for the half of 1% sales tax increase which is estimated to generate around $1.2 billion. The company can collect up to $900 million of those funds. Some of that money will go toward the Delta Center renovations but much of that will go towards building the district. So they can only get $900 million from that tax. Could they be on the hook for around 65? This is I'm talking about the Smith Group. Could they be on the hook for around 65% or could they find another revenue stream to also assist in getting the money and possibly we see more of a traditional 50-50 split? If it is around $3 billion, you would think the surrounding area, they would be able to get some form of assistance from whether it's the state or the county because they can play it off and say, well, it's the surrounding area. It's going to help everyone. It's going to bring more jobs to the area because we're putting in bars. And I don't know what else they want to do. There really wasn't a ton of information other than possibly rebuilding two buildings surrounding the stadium and significantly downsizing the convention center. And there was no details on the renovations to the interior of the arena but if you've ever seen the Delta Center there will be significant changes possibly a fully rebuilt lower bowl to accommodate for the Delta Center hosting an NHL team full-time along with the Utah Jazz. So this is something that really surprised me and that's why when it came out that the Utah is getting an NHL team the renderings for a potential Jazz New Arena were released about a month prior to that happening. And again, it was just so seamless. That's why I had basically written in stone, oh, they're going to be getting a new arena somewhere else, maybe on the outskirts of Salt Lake City, possibly in a different area. But this renovation, I mean, the, like the surrounding area still has to be completely redone anyways. It would be one thing if the surrounding area already had a bunch of nice restaurants and buildings and you could just seamlessly renovate the Delta Center, but no, they're going to have to renovate the Delta Center, put up new buildings, renovate, rebuild, possibly replace or downsize the convention center. There's a lot that needs to be done when it comes to this development. I'm guessing they just love the location of the Delta Center. Maybe they couldn't get the zoning. There's a number of things that could have happened, but in general, it, it, we'll see how this project works out. I, I'm a little bit wary of it. When you look at the Delta Center, the exterior of it, that's a very outdated design. And you're going to be investing a billion dollars into it to stay there for another 30 years. This is how bad arena situations arise. Now, look, maybe they'll renovate the exterior. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it looks beautiful. But there's going to have to be a ton of money that gets dumped into it. Again, you're fitting a square peg into a round hole. It's just an outdated arena. You're getting another team. You would think there would be a bigger push to get a brand new arena and say, all right, it makes sense. Now that we have two teams... Having a new arena, especially considering how old the Delta Center is, we've gotten good use out of it at this point. Let's build a brand new state-of-the-art place that's going to be able to house both of these teams comfortably for the next 30 to 35 years. 
that's personally the way I would go. But again, I don't know the full story. Maybe there are zoning problems. Maybe they just hate the surrounding areas that are available for purchase. Maybe Salt Lake City has an extremely limited amount of land and that area is the only good space. Obviously, you can't knock down the arena and build a new one in that area because the Jazz and the NHL team have to play somewhere. And it also did come out that they will not choose a team name. I, to me, it boggles my mind. How hard is it really to pick a name? Seriously, just call them the Utah Yeti and be done with it. Is, are people, is, is the world going to end because five people don't like the name? I, it's just surprising me that they, they're seriously going year one and not being called anything. I just think that's bad marketing. And I guess you could say, well, it takes a long time to get everything together, get the logo, stuff like that. I mean, there's perfectly fine logos floating around on Google, on Twitter, anywhere you look. And they look, it looks like an NHL team. Also, I did see the Utah Squall. That's a great name as well. Maybe it's going to be one of those two, I'm guessing. But either way, when it comes to this renovation, this is uh, very strange to me. You're going to spend, I don't know how much they're going to spend on the Delta Center, but it's going to be a lot to renovate a very old arena, probably in the span of two off seasons, I would say maybe even three depending, and then you're going to be building up new surrounding areas. That's not surprising at all. Guys, remember the new big thing actually is having like casinos and hotels connected to your arena. And they're not doing that, but that's just the newer big thing that's happening with arenas in general. But either way, that is going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on X. Link to that's always in the description.